Huawei, which is kind of considered the enemy of the United States right now, they have been working on a solid state battery using sulfide. Now, this solid state battery is, well, it looks as though it's nearing actual production. Here are the details around it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, today I've got to, um, actually, actually 2 a.m. in the morning, so in a few hours, I've got to drive back the Cherry E5 electric car that I've been testing, drive back down to Sydney, drop it off, and then I'll probably ride my electric skateboard to the train station, get the train back here. It's going to take probably three hours to get back from Sydney to Newcastle. Yeah, probably in total a six hour day, seven hour day. It's going to be a long day. The energy density of the battery in that EV is probably around 200 watt hours per kilogram. Give you some kind of you know understanding of where things are at. The energy density of a BYD blade battery is around 150 watt hours per kilogram. Now, solid state batteries have the theoretical capacity to have an energy density of well over a thousand watt hours per kilogram. In other words, more than five times that of today's average batteries. In a move that could provide a major boost to battery technology in EVs, Chinese tech conglomerate Huawei has filed a new patent application for a sulfide based solid electrolyte, a component used in lithium ion batteries. The patent titled Doped Sulfide Materials and Preparation Methods Lithium Ion Batteries introduces an advanced solid state battery design aimed at enhancing performance, lifespan, and safety of lithium ion cells, particularly for electric cars. This technology tackles a challenge in the industry, which of course is degradation of liquid electrolytes. So that's probably the main reason your battery um, degrades. It's actually the liquid electrolytes. There are other factors going on as well. That these little nanocrystals can get stuck to the anodes and the cathodes, and that can also cause battery degradation. But the idea with solid state batteries is you can avoid most of that degradation. By substituting liquid components with solid electrolytes, Huawei, aims to upgrade solid state batteries and they're using a proprietary and really quite, quite unique way of doing this. Current battery tech uses liquid or gel electrolytes to transfer lithium ions between the anode and cathode. While this continues to be the industry standard, it is not necessarily the best option, right? Solid state batteries are much less prone to fire. So say in a crash, for example, when a battery gets pierced, they often can catch fire in that situation, despite really good thermal management these days. Solid state batteries, in theory, would never catch fire. Now, the patent's innovative doped sulfide material uses a cubic crystal unit cell with nitrogen doping on one side to stabilize iron movement between the anode and the cathode. This configuration enhances ionic conductivity and supports longer battery life, which is especially advantageous for EVs, of course, and provides potentially much higher energy density than today's lithium ion batteries. The patented sulfide based solid electrolyte also offers features including potentially 600 to 800 watt hours per kilogram of energy density, very fast charging between five to 10 minutes and discharging and very good performance in freezing temperatures or also quite hot temperatures. Huawei's subsidiary called Honor or H-O-N-O-R pioneered the use of silicon carbide for battery anodes, which boosts energy density as well. Now, this approach has become the industry standard with more companies adopting similar battery technologies in order to boost battery energy density. Now, we don't know a timeline yet for Huawei solid state battery, but it does sound like this battery could potentially play a significant role in the future. Huawei has been active with its EV unit, rapidly reshaping its approach in an effort to basically become the Bosch of China. So Huawei sees itself as a major automotive part manufacturer to supply companies with not just parts, but batteries and also the software in their EVs. And in fact, right now in China, many EVs and vehicles in general, plug-in hybrids, do use Huawei software. Recently, the company signed an investment cooperation memorandum with Chang'an Automobile, and this partnership aims to establish a joint venture focused on developing, producing, and selling smart driving systems and related components EVs. Now, clearly Huawei would, are intending to use their solid state battery 
in Chang'an EVs in the future. When will that happen? I don't know, but I do know that this patent is quite interesting. Using sulfide, many experts have said is actually the key to high energy density solid state batteries. So that's yet to be seen. These, these batteries have not been put into vehicles yet, and that's probably a couple of years away. But this comes amidst a spate of companies. We're talking CATL, Samsung, many other companies around the world saying that they have now real solid state batteries that work and could enter mass production within the next few years. Thanks for watching.